Here, fishy, 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 fishy. What up all you fish tank ninjas, what we got right here is an update on Beauty, the 90 Dallin Reef. And what I'm going to share with y'all is this, the first fish in this amazingness. All right, as you probably can see and notice, it's a blue spot jawfish. Now, this is something I've wanted for years upon years upon years. And I'm going to tell you why right now. The reason I wanted this guy is simple look at him this fish is known to have one of the largest personalities in the hobby you can just look at him and see that he's thinking like he learns to recognize you he becomes kind of like a dog and slowly gets him more confident now the reason I put him first is this they're very skittish fish and they're known and they are prone to jump out of an aquarium now this this particular blue spot jawfish is no exception. As you guys know, I posted about getting the first fish about two weeks ago. And I didn't want to tell you what it was because I wanted to give this guy some time to acclimate and give you guys some decent footage of him actually interacting. And on top of that, they're wild caught. Most fish in the saltwater hobby are wild caught. And if you know anything about that, that means... They are not as hardy as your freshwater fish. I wanted to make sure he was going to do good. My focus was on his care instead of on posting a video. All right. Now, he, he did, in this acclimation period, try to jump out of the tank, guys. Like, what are you doing? This man is suicidal. I don't like it. He jumped out. He, luckily, I have a lid, a glass lid. And it, I think he hit the top of the lid and then fell into the overflow. From there, it was so hard to get him out that I just had to pull the plumbing and let him fall into the sump. And there, I threw him back in the tank. Since then, there has been zero issues with this guy. And he's grown more and more confident. As you can see, he's all out and about. Usually, jawfish are not as open, as comfortable as he is right here. Now, my jawfish is... This has become my favorite fish ever. I have never had a fish that I truly enjoy as much as this guy like like I said he's thinking you can tell he's thinking right here I'm standing next to the tank he thinks he's about to eat that's why he keeps looking up but there's times where I'll be sitting next to the tank and they always want to watch you so I'll just kind of move behind a rock and watch him play and like move around and try to keep an eye on me and we mess with each other like that we're like best friends this is how we get along that's how we do things but this guy has become so comfortable, he is hardly ever in the sand bed. In this video though, most of the footage I got is in the sand bed, but throughout the day, you will see him jumping from rock to rock to rock to rock. This guy, I could swear, is a blenny. And I love it. I love seeing this beautiful fish is swimming from one spot to another. He's made his own little network of tunnels throughout this entire system, and he's just a blast to watch. Now, guys, that's the end of the update on beauty, the 90-gallon beautifulness. All right, leave a comment below. Let me know any suggestions for names for this little stunner right here. Also, hit that like button if you like to see progression. And don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming at you four times a week every Sunday. We're going to get something random. Every Wednesday, you're going to get an update on either beauty or the 240 gallon monster I affectionately call Beast. Every Friday, you're gonna see my boy Rusty's tank. And every Saturday, we got a product spotlight. Guys, also, make sure to check out my fish tank hooligans. I'm talking about Fishy Drizzy and Danny and Alano. And don't forget to do amazing things like leave a comment below. Help me name this beautifulness the blue. Spot job fish. Until next time, guys, tank like a boss, cause you're a boss. You're boss.